This is Mark. Hey, Mark. How you doing? It's KUHS. What's going on, dude? Hey, man. What's going on? We. I had a hard time calling you. I forgot that I had to dial one first. <laughs> what, is, what are you? What are you serious? <laughs> Come on. I'm I'm old, but nobody forgets that. I forgot it. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. You still have to do that? I'm really old too, by the way. How old are you, Mark Sargent? Uh, I am uh, fifty. Actually. Well, Mark, no, wait, really? No, wait, wait, hold on. You're we're, we're using a rotary phone, and Aaron forgot to hit the you know, <laughs> yeah. rotary finger in that part. Really? You're you're uh, five oh. You're fifty. Yeah, huh? it's a true story. I, I wow, started. You look, you're lo looking good for fifty. Well, my thank friend. you. Thank you. It was very kind to say. I started flat Earth. Well, the documentary when you saw that, I was forty eight. Oh was, man, I was forty six. So. but you want you you wanted something like, like a Patricia in that movie. Do you know how old she was? Now Patricia, she's the girl that does the, that does the other uh, uh, like a uh, sort of YouTube podcast. Yeah, yeah, thing she does flat Earth and other hot potatoes. Uh, very attractive brunette. Yes. She was fifty four in that movie. Wow. Yeah, I know. She looks fantastic for her <sighs> yeah. age as well. I know women half her age who would literally kill her for her looks. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys a thing? Are you guys an item? We were a thing, uh, and then we kind of figured out as this thing started going along that we seemed to be a better team than we were a relationship, which was interesting because the documentary kind of the way they edited it uh, made it seem like we were a, kind of a, a hot item. And it's like, well, actually that happened. A that's year. exactly what I thought. Oh yeah. That's the way, that's the way they shot it. And, I, um, but, but, but to be fair, it, when you're around her, if you're a guy, it's tough to be around someone like that. So, she's so symmetrically perfect that, you know, you, you kind of, you know, you, you kind of stare and linger, you know, some long glances. So yeah, it, it can get a little tough. So yeah, it's me like a perfect circle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's well. You know, they they've done those tests where yeah, if somebody's symmetrically, it it the 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 almost the definition for good looks is the the symmetry down to like the millimeter. If you look at any, <laughs> seriously, well, if wow. you know, if their eyes are absolutely identical, straight across, their lips aren't crooked, and their nose perfect. Yeah, it's wow. Yeah. Anyway, sounds so. sounds like my wife. <laughs> hey, um, I just want to uh, just 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 for the record, uh, yeah. we are actually broadcasting uh, live on YouTube right now. Oh, okay. Uh, and we're also broadcasting live on the FM airwaves here in Hot Springs, one hundred two point five FM. So, so I, I should do that legal, abstain legal from ID profanity. Thing, man. And, I got to get yeah. that. Yeah. Got to get that legal ID thing in when we come back on the God. air. It's, it's, it is the law, <laughs> according to the FCC. Okay. But uh, yeah, so we are talking with Mark Sargent, the uh, one of the one of the early adopters of the flat Earth theory. Yeah. Um, early? How early? Uh, my first video was made February tenth, twenty fifteen, and that's twenty fifteen. And that's really, really early. There was only a couple guys out there. I could probably name on one hand who had videos before me uh eric dubay obviously uh matt boylan otherwise known as math powerland uh he was in the documentary he uh, was i want to ask him about him in a minute okay um and then uh jay jay henning collegia and a few other people but but nothing nothing easy to understand i was i was the first guy that made you know even this, though it sounds redundant uh flat earth for dummies so or, or yeah, you made you <laughs> you made flat earth for dummies. You should make the book. Hey, uh, um, uh, but let's let's get back to the Powerland dude because yeah. uh, is 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 he crazy? No, no, he's not crazy. Uh, you know, everything in the documentary was was true about him, even though he disputes it. Which was he he got into it w years ago and tried to put it out to people, but what just wasn't resonating. Um, and because he, he only had one argument, which was because he was a, a photorealistic painter and he's like, look, I can, you know, I can paint the earth. And I, his argument was photo or painting, photo or painting. And he'd show people these things. I mean, and he, but, but that's just it. He was only showing them the, the painting of the earth and a photo of the earth and comparing the two. And he just wasn't giving a, a broad spectrum of ideas to get people into flat earth. And so it just wasn't resonating. And, 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 and so, um, but what, what was his animosity towards you? Because it seems like, and I've tried to dig up some videos yeah. uh, since we've been chatting for the last few weeks. Sure. Uh, he seems to be very angry with you. <laughs> yeah, he hates me. Why? He really hates me. Why? Um, aren't you guys on the same, aren't you guys like hashtag same team? Well, nice. Very good, by the way. That's that's what we've been trying to promote is hashtag same team. And I pay uh, he, what, what had happened was he reached out to me. He was literally the first guy to contact me after I made the clues. 
Yeah. And he, he contacted me and l literally like within one email, he said, okay, um, here, okay. So what happened was people, people knew who he was and they were contacting me trying to get to him. So I felt like, you know, junior high passing notes through school type of yeah. thing. It's like, <laughs> it's like, Hey, well, is your friend going to Sadie Hawkins? Cause I know someone that's asking. It's like, really <laughs> seriously, we're going to do that. We're so, gonna do that right now. Yeah. So I contacted him and he'd be like, no, nah, no, nah, man, I'm not doing interviews. He, he really did this whole aloof thing. It's like, I'll, I'll get to the media when I'm, when I'm ready. And so what do you think happened? You know, I go back to them and they said, well, do you want to talk about flat earth? I was like, yeah, sure. Why not? And then the, the interviews, media is generally lazy anyway. You know, they'll, they'll call If you do a decent interview, everyone will talk to you eventually. And so he, he wrote me and he said, okay, Here's what I want you to start doing in interviews. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm waiting wow. with bated breath on this. He goes, first off, you're going to have to start attacking the Catholic Church, and especially <laughs> the Jesuits. And I'm going, why, wow. why, why would I attack especially the Catholic Church? What, what does that have to do with the earth? Exactly. Flag? Exactly. Go, why, why would I do this? I've, there's no motivation for me to do this. Plus, it's, I, plus I was raised a Christian. Why, why, why would I do this? And yeah. he goes, he goes, if you don't do this, he goes, he goes, I'm going to, I'm going to try to discredit you. And I was like, well, take your best shot, man. Go ahead. And so he just started slowly, but surely working these rumors out there to where the more interviews I did, the, the, the more infuriated he got. And, okay. Okay. Yeah, that so, explains it. And so, so I'm sorry, when it came to the documentary, because everybody in the film that was against us officially, like scientists and psychologists and astronauts and those guys, were very affable, very friendly on camera. They were smiling most of the time, saying, well, you know, they're mistaken, they're miseducated. So they were looking for a villain, and it just occurred to them. <laughs> it's like, you know what? We, we ha we've had a villain the entire time. It's, it's this guy. And they didn't, even have to, guy. they didn't even have to interview him. They just used a barrage of his clips. Yeah, his YouTube vi videos are, are quite insane. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. His his first ones, I got to tell you though, his first ones from back in the day, back in 2014, they were pretty good. He was sober, he was focused, he had a different girlfriend. <laughs> he, he 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 hadn't fled Canada at that point looking for American citizenship, which he eventually got. Uh, I think he's just about ready to get it. He ended up marrying. He was on this hunt for a wife in the United States, started in Florida and made it all the way to Vegas, I think, before he found somebody. Yeah. A lot of lot, lot of traveling. Yeah, and a lot of lot of women at that point. Okay, a lot of women. Mm -hmm. So okay, look, we were we, we I I had all these big plans to put together a a flat Earth update package. Okay. Uh, but un unfortunately, um, uh, me and my producers, we didn't have time uh, since we spoke last to kind of put it together. But this is sort of the official launch of the Flat Earth Update with Mark Sargent. Or Flat we... Earth Update with Mark Sargent. We can do a half-assed version of that right now. Uh, sure. If you want, if, Todd, if you want, we can do a half-assed version, of, which I'm all about. Let me, find a, let me find a little thing. Here we go. Ready? Oh, no. Okay. Flat Earth. <laughs> it's not, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Let's try it again. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on, okay, hang on okay, there, okay. Mr. Sargent. It's the Flat Earth Update with the Sarge. <laughs> this week in Flat Earth News. I don't know what I don't know what. what oh no, no, that's okay. The, uh, no, <laughs> and by the way, I am totally old enough to remember when that when that uh, track, that music track, came out back yeah. in the day. Woo, that goes that goes all the way back. That goes way back, right? Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, so Flat Earth Update. Give us an update. What's happening in Flat Earth right now? I know we're, we, we know we're going to New Zealand tomorrow, but yep. aside from that, what's happening? Uh, take your pick. Hang on one second. I will because it's been a – did you call me – was it last week? Yes. All right. Well. Caught you. Caught you. Oh, the week after last. Oh, is it the week after last? Okay. Well, normally what I do is I just uh, – just so you guys know what I do. And I just go into any search engine. I type in Flat Earth. Well, that's not going to happen. Well, no, no, I don't have this stuff memorized, but I'll, I'll tell you the highlights. How's that? Uh, the anytime, let's Cliff see. Cliff Notes. 30 days. Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson is, is on us again as of yesterday uh, with the... With,
with the whole East. Wait, what happened? What happened? Uh, he's he he got in this big in depth interview. You know, he's he's been trying to get back into the news ever since the whole hashtag Me Too thing. He got accused of a bunch of stuff, and Fox News or sorry, Fox and National Geographic pulled him off the air until they could. Did do he? The, yeah, until they could. Put, I totally miss that. There's so many people. Well, that's because that it was, so well. so many people are grabbing things and yeah. doing things. <laughs> A lot, of, a lot of grab ass out there in exactly, the world these days. Exactly. Anyway. So what anyway. happened was he was they they did their own quote unquote independent investigation to yep. see to see if anything actually happened, which me which basically gave them time to settle out of court with whoever the accusers were, and it looks like they took it because he went back on the air. But just before he did, he launched on this big Twitter tirade against Flat Earth because again we're we're freaking smoking hot right now. And he, and that's one of his things because he can segue into that because he is literally the most popular face of science. The second yeah. being uh, Brian Cox out of England, who I've worked in my speech. Bill Nye, the science Bill, guy. My kids love Bill Nye. Uh, come on, come on. Bill Bill Nye is not officially a scientist. He's a science educator. He's, <laughs> he, he's got a bachelor's oh, like, degree in mechanical. Oh, he, but is he like Doctor Phil? He's not really a doctor. Is Doctor Phil not really a doctor? I don't think he is. No, he might not be. Doctor. But, but the thing is, Bill Nye doctors. gives a really solid interview. And so what happened was most of, your, most of your hardcore scientists, when they go on television or radio, they're really dry, you know, because they're nerds. They're super geeks. And it's like, you know, one syllable answers. They're, it's like doing a root canal. And yeah. Bill Nye, Bill <laughs> Nye is like the opposite. <laughs> he is absolutely, he's really solid. He knows what he's, it, well, he pretends to know what he's talking about, but he, the point is he looks credible. He wears the bow tie and the jacket and the media. The thing is now he's, he's doing stuff. He's, he's like, uh, like was on the um, advisory board for the Mars Rover on a panel on quantum physics and climate change. And it's like, he is, he's an actor. He, he's, <laughs> he's a local comedy troupe actor. And yet in fact, I'll, I'll give you a real quick history on it. He's from Seattle. He's from a local comedy troupe up here. I grew up with this guy. And nice. he did this little bit where there was, he, he wasn't even doing that great. And then the, the head of that show, Ross Schaefer, he contacted him and said, he goes, hey, okay. he goes, you know, you got your, you're kind of geeky looking, angular, thin. Why don't we put you in a lab coat and start doing these science spoofs? And then Disney picked that up. And they say, hey, you know what? This is pretty good. I think we could market him to kids. And so he did the show for six years, and then he was in syndication forever. And now he's become, you know, not necessarily like Mr. Rogers or, or Electric Company or stuff like that, but pretty damn close. So, yeah. Anyway, so, so you're saying you're basically saying, and let's 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 stick with the flat Earth update thing. Yeah, that this yeah. this stuff goes deep, man. Like it goes deep. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. deep into our into our educational system. It goes deep into our um, our upbringing, things yes. that we've grown up with. You're you're telling us that, like this we, stuff is very very deep and very ingrained, and it's been going on for decades. Oh, for decades, generations, man. Generations. Uh, well, 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 generations well, let me give you a quick, a quick or example. Centuries. Are we talking centuries? Centuries, at least five centuries. But most recently, especially with America, here's what happened. And so why why is this happening, though? Because I, I want to try to stick with the Flat Earth update. Yeah, yeah, 1947. Yeah. And I yeah. really wanted to talk about flight path this week, but we can get to that maybe next week. Okay. But why why is this happening? Why well, are, I mean, why, why is, is it out now? Why, why is this a thing? Like, <laughs> yeah, sorry, why is it happening? Why, why is Flat Earth happening now? I believe it's no, no, no. Why are we being taught? Oh, why are we taught being taught that it's a globe instead of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, mostly it is. We're being taught this just because that was the theory that was proposed 500 years ago, at the very least, with Copernicus. (laughs) That which was. Oh, we're going to music. No, we're not going to music. Oh, sorry, I heard a sound effect. (laughs) Playing a sample. Okay, so 500 years ago, we teach that, but remember, 500 years ago, it's like, oh, we're, 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 we figured out it was a globe with geometry and trigonometry and, and observations that really were at ground level. And it's like, really, what do, you, what do you know? Until you can get high enough to take the image, what do you really know? And so okay. 500 years later, you know, when the space program starts firing up, NASA gets founded yeah. in 1958. Yeah. Until you can take the photograph, what what do people know? In fact, the the greatest quote I ever heard was from George Orwell, you know, the creator of 1984, the book, and mm-hmm. eventually the movie. And he said in 1946, he, he wasn't a flat earther, but he, he's talking about how people just believe scientists no matter what they say. 
whatever the people in the white coats say, most people give them the benefit of the doubt. It's like, oh, they're smarter than me, so, you know, maybe cigarettes. Well, but hey, look, you know what? I'm a huge David Bowie fan, but I really don't think that Ziggy and the Spiders were a band. <laughs> I mean, so there's that end of the spectrum as well where you can say, yeah, you know, it's fun and everything, but, I mean, come on. It's, it's the 1947 part. Well, no, 1946. But, but who's? I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm no, not, 46, 46. Well, no, it's, but anyway, so here's. But his quote was great. He said, "When you walk out to people on the street and you ask them, how do you know the world is a globe?" They say the first reaction is always the same. In fact, you could do this today. People say, "Well, we just know. It's it's a given. It's like algebra. It's like we we know this. It's a fact." And then you say, "Really? How do you know it's a fact?" And they would always get kind of irritated, kind of upset, because remember, this is 12 years before NASA was even founded. How did everybody in the world know it was a globe in 1946? They didn't know. It's what they were told. That's the big difference. Interesting. It's, okay. And their their fathers told. and their fathers. If you're told something, not to use a Lord of the Rings reference. But I mean, you know, history you turns into I legend. I don't like it when you use movie references. I'm just going to tell you that right no, now. No, I kind of like it. I don't. Why don't you? I don't. I like I don't. it. I like it. Look, I feel pop, like pop culture I feel references. Like Mark's going to lose credibility no. if he says like Matrix and stuff. So well, no, 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 I'm not saying Matrix in this case because I'm, it's all a part of the alien engineering. Did I say aliens out loud? <laughs> no, it's did, okay. Yeah. Again, one. I still believe there's civilizations that are older than ourselves that are flying around here in something. I just don't. Oh, think of course. I just that's, don't think they're from Mars or Jupiter or Venus. I think they're from here, which is why why not? Again, we've got old cultures. Everybody knows. The, 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 I'll, I'll even pick on the Ancient Aliens television series. They know full well there's cultures out there that have lived a long, long time before our history was around. But so let me ask let me ask you ahead. this, if I may jump in really quick, because yeah. I, I have to, because you, you brought up a point where, like, eventually you're just sort of told, like, the Earth is round, and you just go, well, that's what I was told. Right. So in, in a way, it's sort of a faith thing. It is. Like I have, I have faith in education. I have faith in the people prior to me. Right. They told me the Earth is round, so the Earth is round. This goes back to, and I told you this last week yeah. that you know I'm I'm an atheist. I have been for well over a decade. Right. Um, so I sort of stopped believing in that faith. So where are you in respect to say? that type of faith like you were just told growing up your whole life your parents were your grandparents were right. there's a magic dude in the clouds with a big beard and he's got a lightning bolt and he's like yeah man everything's cool you guys are gonna come up here and you're gonna talk to paul and get through the gates and we're all gonna live happily ever after but have you really got any facts you're absolutely to back right that up? there there are some massive comparisons there you're you're yeah and the, you par the yourself, parallels and you said you you called yourself a christian earlier yes so. yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so alive. so how do I how do I reconcile that? Is yes, that, is that what you're asking? Yes. Okay, um, because I I, I, rec I reconcile it like this: if the world is not some little rock flying through an impossible universe, and instead is this little box sitting on somebody's desk, at yes. the very least, at the very least, that means that box was built by someone greater than ourselves. And again, if you think it's just an advanced civilization, great. One man's advanced civilization is another man's deity at that Ooh, point. Okay. And so, okay. and, and, and uh, again, it's that, that's fine. You're, it's your choice to make. If you want to think, you know, but at the very least, it's a, it's a, it's a power that's greater than ourselves. And come on, there's a lot of people that would worship said power. In fact, okay. in fact, if a perfect example would be if some giant golden technological marvel spaceship all of a sudden landed in Main Street right now, even you though like there'd be Thor. a lot of people out there taking selfies and going, wow, they do actually do look like Avatar. Yeah. There'd be a lot of people that would form a, a church almost immediately worshiping exactly, whoever came out of that ship. Exactly. So, so what if all of a sudden yeah. those things, those yeah. beings come out and they go, the earth is spherical. Oh, well, then, what, then what, it's what nothing I could nothing I could do there. I mean, but well, would, that, but, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But at would that they? Point, it's like, well, yeah, okay. Whatever they gonna, said, yeah, you're right. Whatever. whatever they said, all of a sudden would start being not to use too many religious terms would turn would be canonized, and people would just be everything they said would be turned into this text, and people would be going over it like like it's the rule the new rules to the world. Absolutely. Okay. So. And you bring, you bring up a really good point, Todd, and this is something that I wanted to eventually get to with Mark. Yeah. Um, I know tonight we're going to talk about the flight paths, and we're going to do that next week. But, so, okay. uh, but, but you do bring up a really good point. So, uh, as I said, I'm an atheist, right. and I'm completely good with that. 
but I'm also comfortable in knowing that if I'm wrong, God will forgive me. Ooh, that's a good out. I like that. Yeah, you pretty much It's not to. even a good out. It's just that that's what I've been told my whole life, right? Right. God's going to forgive me, so it's all right if I believe what I believe now. Yeah. I'm not committing a sin, if you will, in the quote-unquote uh, scripture, right. because I don't believe. I, I'm making a choice of my free will, right? Right. Still in the scripture. Right. I'm not following any false deities. Right. I am not believing, which that is a sin, that's, right? That's right. Point. Yes. Right. I'm not believing in any outside sources other than I just, my, 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 gut, my gut says that's all fabricated. It was taught to me by man and not by anything other than a human. Sure. Right. So I'm not falling into the false deity realm. Yeah. Now, this flat earth thing, how are we certain that we're not because falling into false gods? After every as, as a Christian flat earther say... Yep. Uh, Mark says, yeah. he's not saying <laughs> amen. And the reason why you don't say amen is because that's originally from Amun-Ra. He's, right, he's right, by the way. I actually did research on this. He's absolutely right. Amun-Ra. Amun-Ra, yeah. which actually, well, I shouldn't say it loosely translates. Every time you say amen, you undo that prayer or that scripture. Is that not correct? Uh, you know... If you believe in the I don't know, I'm just... I'm no, 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 I, I hear you. I'm, I'm kind of conflicted when it gets weird that you would bring up that one, because I studied that one years ago, which was uh, that Amun-Ra loosely translates to hidden sun, and Amen would be, yeah. the, would be the hidden part. And I thought it was interesting that almost at the end of any uh, hymn that you, that you sing in church, it always ends with Amen, which is an interesting thing to say, because it's, it's not even close to being an English word. It's, Amen Ra. Yeah, it's it's a Middle Eastern word. Amen Ra. And if you move those words around a little bit, you got ramen noodles. So, hey, <laughs> good times. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I love ramen noodles. Yeah. Hey, a lot, a lot, a lot of great books and music have been written on ramen noodles. So there you go. To college kids hey, uh, to this day live and die by ramen noodles. Yes. Hey, don't we all? Hey, seriously. So where are you headed next, Mark? You're going to New Zealand. Okay, tomorrow, so right? I will be in. I will be in New Zealand. Hopefully, you guys can get a hold of me. Uh, you know, because I'm going to be in the future when I'm down there. Uh, by by a day, I'll be there from. I'm leaving tomorrow, and I'm coming back on the sixth. Yeah, so how does that work? How does that work? How is it that you're going to be in New Zealand? And I did the math right. last week, and I and I know I emailed you about it, and I was like, hey, it's going to be like three fifteen your time, so you could we could totally call you at ten fifteen our time. How does that work? If we can, if you can get to that quickly, because I right. I know you got to go. No, that's okay. That's but fine. If, so how do are you asking how do how do time zones time, work? Yeah, how do the time zone thing Time work? zones work fine on a flat Earth. Uh, remember, the, we're talking about an, a sun that is super, super small and super, super close. And if you want to have fun with that, because the next question would be, and we're talking and people are probably listening going, how small and how close? It's like, okay, so it's not 400,000 <laughs> miles wide. It's only it's less than 50 miles wide. And it's only it's not 93 million miles away. It's not even probably not even 3000 miles away. It's super, super close and really, really small. And it moves around the top of this thing like. A, no, wait, 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 wait. What is it? What is it like? It Does it have a. Is it a, like an internal nuclear reactor? Is it what, LED? What is it? Is it no, no, the moon, the moon like would be more of an LED, LED thing. Uh, the sun would be, honestly, just kind of like a, an incandescent light bulb. Um, there's a wonderful look. Like a nuclear LED. Does it even That's have to be? That's what I'm looking at. I don't right? even know if it has to be nuclear. I mean, you create enough lumens, you can simulate a, a nuclear explosion. I'm trying, by the way, not to say nuclear because the Americans completely screwed up that pronunciation. Yeah, because did. remember, they they sh did. what's the short nuclear. version? Short version of nuclear? Nuke. How do you spell it? N U K E. What's the long version? Yeah. N U K U L A R. No. Anyway, <laughs> the uh, but, okay. So so the wow. sun the sun would right, be so a, a sun super super <laughs> bright. But if you want to, sorry, I got to get this in. Which is people will say, okay, how's the sun set on a flat Earth? And that would be okay. You want to have some fun? Take a glass of water, uh, put it on a flat table. Take a flashlight, put it behind it, get down at eye level, and move the flashlight backwards towards the end of the table to make sure you're looking through the glass of water at the flashlight. The flashlight will set. Well, the flashlight's not setting. It's still on the same table. So how does the light set? It's just because you're looking through a distorted um, medium, which is our air. Remember, what we're breathing in exactly. is, is a thin version of water. So Refraction. Refra refraction. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. 
Um, All right. Well, we, we, we learned, we've learned oh, a lot. I'm sorry, tonight. sorry, real quick. Uh, after we've New Zealand, I, we'll, we'll talk before this. I'm going to Calgary. For action, whatever. We've learned a lot tonight, Mark. Thank yeah. you so much Thank for you. taking our call. Yeah. Um, safe travels to New Zealand. It should be pretty easy. I mean, it's a it's a horizontal plane. Exactly. So it it's a straight fine, shot. Right? Should be fine. Yeah. Should be fine. A straight <laughs> shot. I have so many questions, and you're teaching me so much. I want to keep learning from you. Okay. I know Todd's, Todd's more of a skeptic than I am. That's okay. But, um, uh, again, safe travels, and maybe we can catch up next Monday night. All right. Just remind me an email. I will have a laptop with me. I will. Me. I know you're a busy guy, and I okay. promise to have a Flat Earth Update package featuring the Sarge okay. next week. Okay. I promise. All right. It'll be brilliant. All right. <laughs> Great. Will, will you be um, in the States next week? Uh, no, but that's okay. I can. I should have a microphone. We'll test it from uh, from New Zealand if we have to. All right, cool. Yeah. I'll, I'll shoot you an email. We'll <laughs> okay. figure it all out from that's there. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, this okay. is uh, Mark Sargent from the film Behind I'm the Curve. Latency. Uh, more importantly, you can see Mark Sargent on Flat Earth Clues if you go to YouTube. Uh, and you've been listening to Mark and us here on the record you need to know about, which you can see find at uh, the record you need to know about dot com or KUHS radio dot org. Mark, thank you so much for taking our call. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys. Have have safe travels, man. All right, I will. All right, bye. There All he right. goes. Bye -bye. The Sarge. You guys, the Sarge. The Sarge. Had him on the show again.